And do not forget, guys, tonight we are playing against Celta de Vigo in Balaidos. It's the second game of La Liga. And of course, the most attractive thing of this game is pretty much to see for the first time in the midfield of Real Madrid two different faces, different roles, different players, and all the stuff. Because right now, out there, all the media and journalists and papers are speculating with the possibility, well, with the new... Um, with the new aspect of the midfield of Real Madrid after the departure of Casemiro, who is not going to be there, of course, as you know, he's already a Manchester United player. So, who is going to display Carlo Ancelotti too in this midfield, new midfielder, new midfield of Real Madrid? Well, the most of the people are thinking Tuameni will have a big chance tonight, right? But it's not only uh, to a many just because as you know cross will not be there will not be featured because he's sick he got the flu and apparently not only to a many but also Camavinga or Fede Valverde might be there the thing is if Fede Valverde is in the midfield who is going to be in the right wing of course Rodrigo but the problem is Rodrigo is not either in the squad because he has a muscle overload and he has to rest a little bit more so he was not included in the um, in the squad list which means that Marco Asensio would be there back again to the starting 11 against Celta de Vigo so the thing is the midfield of Real Madrid I mean what is the midfield is going to look like in Real Madrid tonight I'd say honestly Modric is going to be there for sure to a many and then the other spot will be for either um uh, Camavinga or Fede Valverde one or the other but to a many for sure or almost for sure is going to be there but everybody's looking forward to see what kind of starting 11 uh, Carlo Ancelotti will display tonight against Salta de Vigo let's see let's wait and see and of course let's see if we can get the next three points in La Liga and top the standings which because that'd be awesome